evening everybody, I'm Kelly traveling on State Road 59, just came from home time here, just now leaving town. Um, I have a empty move that I need to do, um, which is a empty move from the drop yard that I delivered at, um, drop yard that I go to every time, back to Plainfield, um, I'm going in the complete opposite direction, so that's kind of fortunate. I'm probably being sent back to Indianapolis after that, so this is kind of stupid, but we'll do it what we have here. Um, I'm hoping I get a load uh, that leaves out of here tonight. But I am going to stop at the local pilot here just to get something to drink here because I've yet to be able to step out of Walmart yet. I didn't know what I needed to leave actually. Um, it was a bunch of misunderstanding. So, yeah, that's kind of what I'm dealing with right now. I definitely need my caffeine today. This place is always packed for filling. So, I typically, I don't have a trailer right now, I'm bob telling of course, so. I typically just park right over here. You know, it's not like I'm gonna be permanently parked here, so it doesn't really matter. Alrighty, let's go get some of the drink real quick. Let me go ahead and set myself to off duty here. You have seven hours and 49 minutes at the main drive need to, uh, Slide on my mask here, so give me one sec here. I'll be right back with you guys. Okay, so Okay, so I got my mask on here, my camera fell down, so angle may looks a little bit different, but looks okay to me. Um let's go in there, shall we? Yeah. yeah, that's it.
How's it going, Rain here, guys? Let's get on the road. This thing's not functioning, so I was make sure everything works good. I might be able to fit through there. All right, guys. I don't like driving with this mask on, so give me one sec here while I take this thing off. Let's go get on the road. This is a little bit weird because this is a new setup that I'm doing. I should be able to do a lot longer videos with you guys, by the way, because I completely changed on how I'm doing things. It's a way better system. Um, I actually have a hot mount that I am going with right now. That band, I was using like a GoPro band that you can like buy at Walmart or something like that and that just was not working for me so I decided to switch to a hot mount so because of this it sets up a lot higher than that band did um, so with this truck it's a very very like small windshield so I have to set the lower that I usually do on um, you know with the chair and whatnot so it took a while to get used to but you know nothing that I can't handle all right get the chair decent here It is sunny out here and I can fucking drive without sunglasses on. The sun just bothers my eye. Of course, it's about to go down, but and we're going to be driving from it, but still bothers me. Something that I've had a problem with for quite some time, actually, for years and years since I was in middle school which geez that was a long time ago yeah he can make it this is big enough traffic to clear actually where I leave here so I can actually drive comfortably I gotta take this jacket off. The guy behind me is probably pissed the fuck off, but he can deal with it. Uh, this is weird. Alrighty. Now we're situated here. I probably should have done that before I started moving, but. This day, yeah, because truck was cold of course sitting for a couple of days so I had to wait for this warm up but it's getting pretty warm in here now also maybe going by a terminal soon hope I'll be able to show you what one of our terminal looks like because I got to get a 2021 FAIA or something like that sticker. Um, something that is required by DOT to have on our trucks. Um, I don't know if you guys have seen it, but there's a green sticker on the side of this truck by the DOT number. Like, I think it's like somewhere like around the um, door over here. Let me keep all my gloves. We have to have those stickers. Um, what they do exactly, what the reasons are, I don't know. Maybe it's just DOT's ways to, like, have, no, maybe it's like a license plate or something like that where you have to pay to have a semi-truck on the road and sure, or, you know, I don't know. Out to par, I really don't know. You guys have been as good as mine. 
that's something that, you know, I would think owner operators would have more idea, you know, guys that actually have to keep their truck registered and, and insured, pays for all that. That is something that is not known to me. Look around the daytime running lights, so we can be safe out here. Come on, buddy, I know you can do it. Get that gas. down here to drop off that load for relay I actually got stuck in traffic it was not of course it's prime that's why he's going so freaking slow yeah. it's a lot different driving bobtail than you know having trailers or something like that it takes some time to get used to the wind is definitely noticeable. Even for a small amount of wind, it's still very noticeable. Also, there's something I would like to put out. When it comes to this home type for CRSD, this is confusing right now. Because before I was running teams, I would get two days home. You know, two full days. You know, I always got told that, you know, the day that we don't got home doesn't count. Well, that is false. In a rolling solo, that day you got home, the exact same time, you know, that's when your time starts ticking. For me, it's 40 hours home. So, I was a little confused. You know, they gave me a call and said, I'm supposed to be back on the truck now. Well, of course, this is the first for me. So, you know, I'm like, okay, I'll know for next time because, you know, I. You know, I can go home for one day and just be ready to come back out here again, you know. I'm solo, so it's understandable that, you know, I need to be out here on time. You know, I understand that, but you got to, you know, make sure that I actually know this. Because, you know, obviously, how am I supposed to know that, you know, I'm supposed to be home for I don't know, 40 hours when you're not telling me. So, I'm willing to do whatever it takes to do. stay solo. You know, you don't have to be out here this long. So, don't really matter to me. You just got to make sure, you know, things are clear. Turn that off because of the freaking wind. Blow me over there. All right, guys. So I am not too far from the shipper. I got about an hour left until I get a shipper. So I think I'm going to end things here. If I get a shipper, you know, I'll turn on back on the camera, of course. Uh, things will be a lot different now. 
um, due to a different setup, but you know, I do apologize that you no know, videos were happening, you know, or there was vast videos happening, you know, I said I would make videos, but I didn't, um, I was here to change, I just had to wait to change some things here, uh, that's mainly what I've been waiting for, but other than that, I will see you guys when we get to that drop yard. Bye.